which isn't nearly enough for a down payment. Right. And, um, we don't have a thing. Yeah. Clean up this college okay. loan, I build herself a good rainy day fund, and then build herself a good oh, really? down payment. Oh, really? Yeah. And she can wow, look that at that. That's incredible. Really this is for a, you could actually see where you're navigating, where you're going. Money back up. Yeah. Money back Please up don't cameras. go borrow $30,000. I just, this is I, I a. Wanted to have a home. What was this again? A Cadillac Escalade. Put my five. Uh, AR back there. That's right. Please, I know you love your daughter. I love mine too. But don't. This is a mistake, sir. Please don't do it. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. There's a Tucson lizard. Wow, this is incredible. So, it got this big, huge, like, dinosaur out here. Sure it is. <laughs> That's incredible. It got this big, huge dinosaur just right here, off of, like, the I-10 over here. This is massive. I mean, this is incredible. Really cool. It's actually a Jurassic, prehistoric dinosaur. It's not real, it's obviously fake, but it's a statue of one. All right. Hello again to all of my gremlins. Uh, I actually had stopped here along the side of the road off the I-10, off the, the freeway. I'm not quite sure what the city name of this place is, but I'm actually standing right here behind a rest stop more or less a rest stop, gas station, and standing behind a dinosaur. Obviously, you can see it is right there. This thing is massive. So that's a dinosaur right there. This is crazy. So if you get this like bigger look, this is the dinosaur behind me. Isn't that great? That's awesome, right? This thing is massive. It's actually standing like uh, at least a couple feet above me. So if this dinosaur was actually real in real life, I think I would be dead right now. Because there's like absolutely no way I could actually like uh, survive in front of this like dinosaur like this. If it's like that massive. Wow. You have an incoming call. You know what I'm saying? No. Where are you going? Dragoon Road. One mile. Wow. 318. What's the city you have? Uh, Benson about 30, 25 minutes ago. Uh, 
then he's been coming up on Wilcox pretty soon. Wilcox? Probably. Salutations to all of my gremlins, for those of you who are obviously watching this video. I welcome you with open arms to this brand new adventure and this side, inside of this journey today's adventures. Basically, me at the Safford Gun Show right now, set up as a vendor. Oh, it's a family owned business and my family and I have been vendors for the past past um, five, six years now. What we provide to the public is armor, such as this. As you can see here, I'm all geared up all the way around, front, front back, and side. What the hell? Well, anyway, edit that part, anyway. Front, back, side. So the U.S. Patriot there. With. Thank you, Ader. This is the High impact strike face melee 46 100 steel as you can see here. It's got the fragmentation protection webbing that's layered, a couple layers on the front here. So it's actually for your armor. That's what we provide to the public. So, it's uh, it's actually unfortunate I'm not able to vlog inside of the show in itself however I would have loved to show you all to, to all of you for what I had shot at uh, for the plates so actually I can show that to you tomorrow or uh, later today speaking of which that reminds me either tomorrow or Sunday how you doing tomorrow or Sunday I'm gonna go out and do some tactical shooting, some tactical practicing and simulations. And we might actually take like one of these plates. Now, actually I shot at enough plates already. I shot like three, four. And the pictures would actually be provided on here on the screen for all of you to see. And might set up a target practice, some kind of dummy or silhouette dummy. And go out there like tactical training, like shoot out there at the plates but shoot at the silhouette dummy that's actually for for tomorrow Marine Corps vest oh good got some water that's been interesting being in Safford so far and a lot of a lot of ranch a lot of farms mountain mountainous terrains uh, desert God, I have this sickness since Monday today's Friday and just barely getting over it, but sore throat, coughing, everything. Thank you, Adrian. Ah. So, while being here in Safford, honest to God, it, it has been quite the event, quite the journey in order to get here. It was actually a three hour drive in order just to get here and to be honest to God it was actually every bit worth it I enjoy my time spent while being out here and I will show you all the mountains that's actually in this direction in the direction north direction here but they actually have a lot of deserts and mountains and desert terrains out here it's so peaceful out here 
there's no amount of words that I, I could ever describe or personally express in any words or thought to express it just how peaceful it is out here right now just how perfect and calm and the weather especially is even a mention and even a weather in itself is very peaceful as well usually it's warm around this time of season and in the spring season however right now it's it's actually in the mid 60s it's actually cold out here I'm wearing underneath of this body armor is a, a tactical breathing a combat shirt <laughs> and usually it's supposed to be worn for cold weathers uh, I'm sorry it's usually supposed to be meant for wearing for a hot or warm weathers right now it's actually cold so it's got like holes all around a combat shirt that's tactically simulated and specialized in order for the purpose of hot or warm weather and climates so I'm actually gonna go inside of the show again and I'll see each and every one of you soon it's like a cute dog here at the gun show in Salford he's actually huge once he stands up but he's actually really big Hi, buddy Loves to sit here and he's like, I'm part of the gun show. I love my patriotism. There he is. Uh. <laughs> Rub it up against me over here. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> his name is, what was his name again? Czar. Czar? <laughs> he likes it. He actually likes this a lot. So, hello everyone. And salutations, I have returned. Now I'm in Safford with Czar. And uh, we're at the Safford Gun Show right now. Yeah, that's right. You and I. <laughs> Such a lovely animal. I just I've got five dogs at home. I just love animals. So, this is me when I'm all geared up like this. Come to the shows and go out training. Yeah. You like gun shows too, right? What are you talking about? I love gun shows. I love gun shows, man. God, it's actually a lot bigger than my than Poco words. Ah. <laughs> he wants to, he wants to, he wants to lay down on me now. <laughs> Can you believe he's actually this big? And he is only one year old. That's right. 365 days year old. The weather out here right now in Safford is actually windy and more or less chilly out here. It's actually 60, 50, 50 60 degrees right now. So you can pet him if you like. He's a really cute dog. It's actually like 50 or 60 degrees right now in Safford. And this is honest to God, our first time here in Safford. And never quite, never been here before, so. It's a little girl here, Ken. Doggy here, too. <laughs> never been here before, and this is actually rather captivating for the scenes and nature. It's really nice here. The show, I've actually had the opportunity to get away from the show for a little while, considering that it's more or less slow right now, but it's actually going to pick up later on. I'll have to make some sales today, it'd be nice. Ah! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> he loves gun shows too, right? So I love guns, I love the Constitution, America, everything. We should have bought them. Alright everyone, hello again, and welcome back. Well, after a couple hours of being here at the show, it is exactly 8, 8.23, at least, yeah, 8.22 right now, 
and just had finished doing the show right now. Actually, I got myself brand new tactical gear here. You can see here. There it is. It's a drop leg holster there where you can attach Molly accessories and many different uh, many different things with it. Especially your radio pouches and your radio or magazine pistol or rifle pouches to it as well. So right now, gotten together with Nathan. And if you remember Nathan, he's actually coming to prank here from before. And so we're going out to plan to go out to eat for dinner right now. So I'll definitely talk to you all when I see you there. And definitely excited to get something to eat. And I've been recovering from a sickness since Monday. So I've been drinking tea and taking moxillin every day, but my throat's been really acting up on me. It's been sore. My voice is just kind of more or less gone after talking for so long today. So had a good day at the show today and we'll talk to you guys. See you guys soon. So, obviously, well, for food we had decided that for food we had decided we're, we're going to have Denny's for food. So it's going to be interesting. So what are you getting, Nathan? I don't know yet. Decided? No. You mind being on video? No. It's rigged. There's Nathan again, we're hanging out at Denny's and they're actually trying to win some win something for Julie. I don't know, Nathan, I think it's rigged, so that's I just my perspective. Is, I think it is too. No, I ain't trying to Yeah. You never know until you try, so you try the best you can, huh? I'm here providing to him as a moral support. And we're trying come on, to come on. Wins. You almost got it, man. Oh, are you for real? Are you serious? That's crazy. <laughs> Gotta try again. Yeah, there's a chicken strip dinner. You can get one more side, too. If you get All right, so everyone, right now, I'm actually stuck in a dilemma. I'm actually trying to order between a double cheeseburger or bacon avocado. Mm -hmm. Cheeseburger. Mac and cheese. Well, I'm thinking about a bacon avocado What's cheeseburger. Sauce that you want? Just ranch. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Wait, wait. Alright, who's next? Nathan, go. Can I get the bacon slam burger? Mm-hmm. Or would you like the egg <laughs> Um, over easy. Easy, and any jalapenos on your burger today? Will they charge you for that? Oh, actually, can I get charge the... the what, not the bacon burgers? slam burger. It's what I got for myself. 16 on it. No. Uh, no. <laughs> Can I actually sometimes. get the bourbon bacon burger yeah, instead? Of course. <laughs> that was the one that looked good to me. I saw the picture and that's why I was like, oh. Anyway. Got myself oh, a nice. strawberry price, banana smoothie. Uh, season. Season price. Any cheese and bacon? Making smothered season price? Oh, heck yeah. Okay. You know, Jenny's in Japan don't serve breakfast be, um, outside of 11.50 in the morning? I did not know that. Yep. That's too bad for that. Yeah. Breakfast is the best one. I know. I went through one already. I like, appreciate it. Thanks. 
Oh, with fries. With fries? What kind? We have the regular, the seasoned. Oh, what options do you have? Yeah, there's the regular cut french fries, the seasoned fries, or you could get onion rings or hash browns. Uh, never mind. I'll take onion rings. Onion rings? Yes, appreciate it. So this is incredible. I just have got my food. Onion rings there. Jam. Got is that yours? Yeah. Okay, I didn't open it. No, no, I opened it. You did? Great jelly. No, I opened it. Buy a hamburger right Uncle here. Great. Great baby. Everything on her. Bacon, everything. Yeah. Yeah, everyone got so worried that the music is stuck. Now everyone's so quiet. Will you have a spoon? I want a napkin. Oh, we get a napkin around here? I didn't get no silverware. You didn't get a silverware? She asked you. If everyone was. Oh, grab a silverware. You're the man, Cody. Oh, oh, no problem. No. no. This is good. Salt? It's really good, so I just tried on the onion rings right now. Oh my gosh, I'm getting Now I'm going to, to try a hamburger. Look how big this hamburger is. they're loaded. It's a or whatever. Wow. With bacon cheese or whatever. This is incredible. Too I don't know. I think it's cheese. Got the bun all around. Got the bacon inside. Everything on. Oh wow, it's got avocado inside. It's bourbon cheese. It's actually got avocado inside here. This is great. I'm gonna try this out. They refinance your house. Oh, it's a house that you can eat on. That's good. I'm impressed. This is really great. Really good quality. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You got to change that. <laughs> pretty sad, I just have to say. You and me and Baby Nick 3. <laughs> you and me and Aaron and Cody Rogers. <laughs> that makes 25 of us. <laughs> this cut's fun to play with. Desiree. One. Did you get it? What's his name? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. You got a pumpkin? It's gonna be a girl? <laughs> oh, no. Girl. Put a claws in there. <laughs> you never had a cat, except when you were little, huh, Chris? You always had dogs. Except for a the puppy. Thing. Remember, he's a mil right? military dog? Puppy. Yes, I a military cat. Connected. Puffy? He used to play army in the bushes and attack <laughs> exactly. me and come out. <laughs> he attacked Cody. Go open the garage door. The <laughs> cat would attack Cody and take out a run. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy for a cat. Look at that, sharp nails, man. Yeah. What's your cat's name? Pumpkin. Pumpkin, oh, okay, that's right. So, can't remember. Where'd the laser <laughs> pointer go, babe? It's under that lamp. Thank you. Do you guys want to see something cool? Check this out. Yeah, pumpkin. Come on, pumpkin, get. Yeah, the cat jumps up the wall. Get that blurry. <laughs> Who is that that did that? Alex Jones, wasn't it? He did that with his dog or something. He said, look, this is what people are. He sold it to me for, I think, right. decent prices. It's Chesnick ammo. All right, everyone. Well, it's Dan and I are two and eight or, uh, sorry, not eight or, 
Nathan's house for a few days, and I am exhausted. I'm just exhausted out of my mind. I've been fighting against the sickness as well, trying to recover, and it's extremely late at night right now, so I'm going to sleep. And oh, by the way, this is my brand new G-Shock watch. It's covered in tiger stripe multicam digital. Well, uh, multicam. Ah, what am I trying to say? It's too late at night. It's a tiger stripe camouflage. That's what time it is right now. 12.35. And I'll see, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And it's been actually really fun so far. And definitely have a lot of fun. So. Had a rather most delightful and enjoyable time in my life here in Severn. It's really an interesting place. And... I'm not even thinking straight <laughs> right now. I'm exhausted, <laughs> exhausted out of my mind. It's like 12:30 at night right now. So we decided to stay up late for a little bit. This is something I don't normally do. I haven't felt that well today either much. So I'm definitely gonna go to sleep here pretty soon. And tomorrow is another brand new chapter in the book of our lives. And another day to look forward to, to open your eyes in the morning, and to wake up, and to start a brand new day. So this has been a, definitely a worthwhile adventure so far. It has been interesting, very much interesting, having a most perfect time, perfect experience of my life here. Excuse me. Just got done eating at Denny's, as you've probably seen already. Yeah. Oh, I'm so exhausted. So, see you to every one of you soon. And this concludes day two. I mean, day one. So, day two begins tomorrow. So, see you guys there. And thank you for watching, and please subscribe.